we have renewable energy mandates that we need to meet as an electric provider. And so this is a potential option for us to meet that in the future. We have 250 miles of canals. Uh, and so if this is uh, something that works on these first two miles of, of, of Project Nexus that we're doing, there's the potential that this could scale. And this could scale to multiple locations throughout our service territory. So there are multiple benefits of this project. Um, first of all, covering canals with solar panels would reduce evaporation so we could save water. Secondly, uh, it would avoid land use. Thirdly, it could, you know, by shading the canals with solar panels, it would reduce aquatic weed growth and algae growth, which would save on operating costs. And lastly, uh, there's a cooler microclimate. So if we implemented solar canals statewide across the 4,000 canals, we estimate it could pr produce 13 gigawatts of renewable capacity, which is roughly half of what the state of California needs to meet their renewable uh, capacity goals to have carbon-free sources of electricity by 2030. Putting solar panels over this canal, if it reduces the amount of aquatic growth, it's going to save the district money, it's going to save us man hours to be able to focus on other areas. 